It is now 6.53 on this Thursday morning. We want to recap a few of your top stories. So there was a pretty chaotic scene that was caught on camera last night in Central Falls. So a truck spotted driving into a crowd of protesters outside the Wyatt Detention Center. Many of the protesters pepper sprayed moments later. It's not clear if anybody was injured or if there were any arrests. We do have calls out to officials to try to find out more about what happened. A suspected gunman is in custody after allegedly shooting and wounding six Philadelphia police officers. It all started yesterday afternoon after a narcotics operation in a home. A SWAT team safely evacuated two of the police officers and three others from inside. The injured police were eventually released from local hospitals. The gunman surrendered nearly eight hours after the standoff began. Today, day three of the Nathan Carmen civil trial, 24-year-old being sued by his insurance company over a claim for his boat. Yesterday, both sides questioned a witness who had surveyed the boat for the insurance company when Carmen bought it. Carmen and his mother infamously, infamously went missing off the coast of Rhode Island in 2016. He was rescued. His mother has not been found. Bad news for Bryant University students. They tend to have the highest college tuition debt in the country. The study by Yahoo Finance looked at which colleges in the nation lead to the most and also the least tuition debt. Brian came in at number one with an average debt of $54,000. Meanwhile, CCRI hosting the last of its Rhode Island Promise enrollment days ahead of the start of classes. Today's enrollment will be held from 9 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon at the night campus. In Warwick, reps from admissions, financial aid, and advising will be on hand to assist students applying for that program. Rhode Island Promise is the program started by Governor Raimondo that provides two years of free tuition for CCRI students. All right, it's game day in Williamsport, Pennsylvania for the Barrington Little Leaguers. Teams from around the nation and the world ready to take to the field for the Little League World Series. Last night, all of the teams, including our own New England champs, took part in the annual Grand Slam Parade. Barrington will play Virginia starting at 3 this afternoon. Maury Hirsch-Gordon will have continuing coverage from Williamsport all this week. And those are your top stories on this Thursday morning. For updates anytime, you can look at our WPRI 12 news app or WPRI.com.